actually one of the demonstrations that you saw in our control room. Paul was showing all of the um, active satellites and debris moving over time. So what I'll do is load in all active satellites. This is about 12,000 objects, and we're getting updates every 15 seconds. So it looks like a lot of objects. It looks like a crowded picture. If I add in all of the inactive satellites, all of the debris and rocket bodies, it gets a lot busier very quickly. So it's very important to understand what's up there and how we avoid any collisions. Not only do we model all of these objects, but now I'm going to load in about 6,000 FAA flights. This is what you see here. We're getting updates here every 10 to 15 seconds as well. The satellite data we're actually capturing something like this 
getting it scaled. We pretty much saw most of our software there. We're there. We can, there's, a, there's a really uh, very well understood metric that allow you to scale that. So we've got five million lines of software that we've developed uh, over 20 years. And uh, if you were to go out and ask a government contractor to develop five million lines of software, it'd be somewhere between as a 